I don't know if you've ever seen a unicorn, but I'm about to show you one. Weird, huh? That's what I mean by unicorn. This thing to me, I, it's been avoiding me, running away, acting like Bigfoot's dick. Ain't been able to find it for years. Uh, I've been looking for this thing for so long that it's my personal, as it's called in the vape world, the unicorn for me. This RDA, I've been trying to find it since I seen it around May of last year, around May, April, May, June of last year, 2017. I've been looking for this RDA. I seen it and I was like, man, I want to have that. Um, couldn't find it. Been looking. I even found the guy on Facebook that makes it. Uh, this is the Biochip RDA by Mertz or Cyberpunk. Um, it's a hard RDA to find, let me tell you, and it's not cheap. This is very expensive and it rhymes with uh, 160 euros. So if you can do the translation or the whatever between euros to dollars, that'll tell you how much this was. At the point, I didn't care. I found it on a website called Vape Village, and I was like, look, man, this is my only chance of getting this. I know it's going to be sold out soon. Picked it up, and that website shipped it to me. It only took like four days to get to me, and that website or that business is in Japan. So if you want to support a good company that has hard to find rare items, Vape Village, uh, it's Japanese and it is real. It's not a scam website. Go check them out. They got a lot of um, hard to get items. So taking a look at everything, it's expensive for a couple reasons. It's expensive because for one, it's made by one person. It's a high end piece and it's made with quality. You're not going to find a lot of defects on this and you're not it's not mass produced. Um, I would like to see a serial number on this because there's not one so I have no idea if mine's number one or if it's number a thousand. But after talking to the owner of the company I don't think he really cares about that. He wants to put out a good product. He doesn't care about hype. He doesn't care about being famous. He doesn't care about any of that. And he's just a pretty good dude. Like I said his name's Mertz. I, that might be his last name. Um, this is a company out of Italy, or a person out of Italy, a mod maker, or a RDA maker, if you will. Uh, let's dive down. I'll show you all the parts of it. I'll show you how, um, how to wick it, what it looks like when it's built. Let's do this. Alright, so what you're looking at right here is the actual container it comes in. It's a uh, PMMA, and the, the little cap, it's a little capsule. And the cap itself is actually um, Delrin, and it is a atomizer stand. And I'm going to apologize again for my voice, guys. I, I, I lost my voice a couple days ago, and I uh, can't find it. Um, this is the atomizer itself. This is the creme de la creme, the biochip. Le biochip. But it's not French. It's actually Italian. So, uh, looking at the coil I'm using, it's a 2.5 inner diameter coil, and it's just one of your basic Clapton's. Uh... You don't want to go much bigger than this. I had a 3.0 in there, and it will fit. You can see there's actually a lot of room. Uh, sorry for the dirty coil. I've been using this. I'm not going to show you how to build on it, but I'm going to show you a few key details of this dripper. So looking right here, uh, if you have excess coil, it'll actually uh, rest in this little thing. You just pull it up and clip it. Uh, you don't have to worry about it grounding because this is medical grade peak. And... Um, this is a, a very good peak. It is expensive and it just looks good. Uh, this is stainless steel and it is sandblasted. Uh, we'll talk about this pin in a minute. Uh, looking at the actual uh, clamp parts itself. Uh, if you can see right there. Uh, it's going to keep your coil in because it's kind of in a little valley. A little divot if you would. If you would. Uh, very easy to build on, very self-explanatory, you just kind of put your coil leads in there, screw it down, it doesn't push the leads out, it's very, very nice. You're going to want it about right there how you see it. I like the belly of the coil to be coming up rather than sitting down, I just feel like that's a better way to uh, have it, because you don't want the belly to be uh, hanging down, because you're getting full air on the bottom of the coil, and I just feel like you get better flavor. 
Uh, the squonk part itself is down there, and it's going to fill up into these two uh, pretty nice juice wells. But, you know, when you're squonking, you really don't have to worry about juice wells because you have a bottle underneath. But you'll see how deep it is. That's a pretty deep juice well. So, talking about the cap, here's the cap itself. This is also medical grade peak. Uh, the top is stainless steel, and there are other options you can buy. Uh, you can get Altum and Black Altum. No Delrin, just uh, Peak, Altum, Black Altum. You're going to see that the airflow holes correspond with the two holes on the top of the cap. Uh, again, sorry for the juice, I've been using it. Uh, very easy to line it up with this because, you know, it, it can only be one way. And it's very easy to see because of the contrast from black to stainless, media blasted stainless steel. And the uh, drip tip is not Delrin, it's actually Teflon. Looking underneath, you're going to see how the air comes in. Uh, pretty good airflow. It's not mouth to lung. Uh, it's a direct lung hit, but it's not like it's uh you get a decent amount of airflow. I'd say it's pretty comparable to the basic RDA. This actually has a tad bit more airflow. Okay, so we're talking about the bottom. No uh, serial number. It is just as plain as a uh, as a church mouse. Uh, you're gonna see that this pin is a different shape than you might see on most RDAs. It is le square. Don't take this out because it will void the warranty. Now you can take it out and I guess, you know, the, the positive post will come out with it. But he told me if you take it out, you void the warranty. Not sure what the warranty is, but don't void it. You don't want to. Uh, taking a look at the extras. Very, very scarce. Les scarce, if you will. Three O-rings and two grub screws. And this is one interesting thing about the grub screws. They kind of... Uh, go down to a smaller size as you go to the bottom of the screw as you can tell and I believe that's to help trap round wire because you know round wire can be a little bit squirrely if you will so uh, just to show you that the stand it comes with I mean hey it's always good to have an extra atomizer stand you can never complain about that so yeah that's about it I will wick this and show you what that looks like here's one last look of how you should have the coil about that high Barely over the posts, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, let me uh, wick this bitch up. Alright, so looking at how I have it wicked up, you're going to want it, you know, just like that. It looks like a little bow tie. Uh, you don't really need a super, a lot amount of wick for this. I think that, you know, as long as it rests in these two little wells, you're cool. Um, I'll show you kind of what it should look like when it's... Uh, down in the wells but I mean it's pretty self-explanatory when you're dealing with single coil RDAs you know there's not a lot that needs to be done with them because you're only dealing with one coil which is another reason why I like single coil because you don't really have to deal with two coils getting them all you know no hot spots on both of them amping up at the same time and all that stuff and having to deal with two different wicks and you know, having them even. I don't like that. I like single coil because they produce a lot of flavor, especially like with RDAs like this. It's so condensed in this RDA. Everything's so close together. And then when you put this top cap on, it condenses it even more. And and the good thing is, it just kind of goes right on like that. And another thing that a lot of companies don't include is the fact that that is a locking mechanism. So this thing will never get stuck on your RDA. And that's such a crucial thing to me. I hate RDAs that just keep spinning and spinning and spinning. But yeah, uh, that's what it should look like all wicked up. I'm going to put some juice on this bitch. And uh, yeah, we'll talk about it when we get back up on top. Um, let me show you how easy it is if you even wanted to drip on this. Like say your squonk bottle was out. Just go like this. The juice I'm using right now is uh, Hometown Hero Sun Drops. And it is a passion fruit sweet tea. You're never going to over squonk on this thing. I mean, look how look how easy that is. And those wells are pretty deep there where your cotton is. So, I mean, look. I mean, that's just perfect. But, yeah, let's go back up and talk about it, guys. Okay, I'm going to keep this short, sweet, and to the motherfucking point, like I usually say. Um, all right, let's just go into the negatives first. One of the negatives is going to be the price, of course. And that's a subjective negative. A couple of the negatives I have are kind of subjective. The price, how hard it is to find, and what you get in the extra bag. 
Very scarce, very hard to find, very expensive. That sums it up. I'm going to leave it at that, and I'm going to tell you price was about 160 euros. There's only two websites to find it on, and you only get like five things in the in the bag for of extras. Uh, let's go into why it's so expensive. It's so expensive because of what it's made of. This is not um, Delrin. This is medical grade peak, and medical grade peak is about 160 euros per meter, which is going to um, convert to about 190 dollars per 3.3 feet. That's expensive, and to consider that the 75% of the dripper is medical grade peak, which is something I forgot to mention down below. This thing's very unique. The deck is actually medical grade peak for the most part and 316 stainless steel. He's one of the first persons, peoples, peoples, to do this, and it is, it's unique. Um, whether it's good or bad, it's up to you to decide. This thing does not retain heat, which is because of the deck being Dalrin and not Dalrin, medical grade peak, and the barrel being medical grade peak. Um, you can buy a few extras for it online at tutilafrumo.com. It's an Italian website. I uh, just butchered the name. Uh, you can also buy this RDA at vapevillage.com or dot something. It's a Japanese website. I will have those in the links lay down below. And uh, this thing is pretty awesome, guys. I, I was not disappointed. Let's put it that way. I spent a lot on it, but I wasn't disappointed. I will show you, let you hear the airflow. This thing you're not going to get a lot of clouds out of, but this thing has the smoothest airflow out of any RDA I've ever used up to this point. Uh, it's just perfect. The airflow is not turbulent, not whistly, not loud. It is smooth. It's like you're not even... It's just smooth. I'll drop it. Put it at that. Uh, positives are going to be the flavor, the build quality, um, the flavor, and uh, it's just perfect for me. How I like to vape, not too restricted, not too much air. Um, I like the the idea of how condensed this chamber is. I like how easy it is to uh, control your airflow with just a little spin. I like that the airflow is actually a locking mechanism so you can take the RDA off and put it back on very easily. Um, the guy who makes this is named Mertz Bass or Bass Bass. Um, not Lance Bass, but Mertz Bass. Uh, he is one person making this by himself from what I understand and it's out of Italy. So that's another contributing factor of why this is so expensive. One person makes it, he makes everything, and he has a few products coming out later, but this is his um, main RDA. There is another one called the Microchip, which is a mouth-to-lung RDA. Uh, this is just uh, a collection piece, really. I want to use it, though, because I really like how it vapes. But when you buy this, it's like an investment, because it is expensive, but you know that it's quality. It's not made in China, it's made by one person and it, it's just a good RDA. It's a very very good RDA. Um, it's kinda scary to buy something this expensive not knowing whether you're gonna like it or not. I'm personally the first English review on this. The only other reviews are some other country and I don't know what they're saying. I just seen this RDA there and I was like man I want that. But yeah other than that um, I don't know what else to say about it. I think it's perfect. It's honestly a perfect RDA for my style of vaping, which is like a very, not super tight, but tight direct lung, and um, I like single coil, so that's this. Um, I don't know what else to say about it, guys. If you have the extra money and you want to invest in something, this is it. This is very good RDA, and I'll be using it a lot. You'll see me using this um, in some of my reviews. You'll, have, you'll probably see it back here because I'll be reviewing something else. But these two RDAs right now are about the only two things I'm using. And you can see the height difference in the two. But the thing is, this doesn't have any wasted space in it. It's so condensed that it, it makes up for a little bit extra tall. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I said, but that's a Teflon drip tip. That's 316 stainless steel sandblasted. And that's medical grade peak. So if you have any other questions, just uh, comment down below. Um, it, this is a very good RDA. I'm going to leave it at that. If you like how it looks, go pick it up. I'll put the links in the description below. And uh, thanks, guys. I'm trying to get over this cold. I know I probably sound and look like lay shit. But, um, yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. And thank you for the support. And, uh, yeah, thank you.